Sporty looks, Mazda reliability and a seven-seat cabin with sliding doors. Sounds like the recipe for a perfect family car, doesn't it? Truth is, the Mazda 5 MPV doesn't quite deliver on its promise. MPVs are all about practicality and, in some areas, the Mazda 5 scores highly. Sliding side doors make access to the rear seats easy and there's plenty of space up front. The two rearmost seats fold away simply to leave a large boot space too. Unfortunately, the middle row of seats is compromised. They slide, which is handy, but there's nowhere for those in the outer seats to rest their arms. And worst of all, the middle one which folds out from the one next to it is small and uncomfortable. A Ford S-Max or Peugeot 5008 is much more family friendly. The Mazda 5 isn't as classy as those rivals inside either. It's solidly built and Mazda's reliability record is second to none, but it all looks rather plain and drab. The dashboard has a mass of small switches to contend with too, but the driving position is fine and visibility is good. For all its foibles, the Mazda 5 is more fun to drive than most MPVs. Firm suspension stops it leaning too much through corners and the steering reacts quickly. Refinement is pretty good too, but the ride is firm, which is not ideal for a family car such as this. Of the two petrol engines available, the 1.8 is a better bet than the Wheezy 2 litre. The flexible, frugal 1.6 diesel is the pick of the lot though. Even entry level models have lots of kit and the cheapest petrol models are decent value. Diesel models are a bit pricey, but they hold their value well and running costs are low. The Mazda 5 is a likeable car. It's practical for four, good to drive and decent value for money. It's not as practical or classy as our favorite seven seat MPVs though. We'd suggest taking a look at the Ford S-Max, Peugeot 5008 or VW Touran first.